Hello, everyone. My name is Rick Reese. I'm going to be sharing something with you here in Marketplace Ministry. I just love Marketplace Ministry. We've got Christian business owners out there, and, uh, and they're pondering the term Marketplace Ministry and how it impacts them. So sharing something with you here about Marketplace Ministry. We've talked about what it is in previous sessions, previous shorts. We've talked about how it impacts Christian businessmen and women. We've talked about the foundation that is so necessary, I believe, to be laid along with whatever business you're in. You've got the business side pretty much down packed, but there's a, another side to that coin, and that is marketplace ministry and the foundation that you've laid on the ministry side, which is what is your spiritual authority? What mountain are you assigned to climb of the seven mountains? And what is your marketplace authority? I believe those two coming together gives you a real good foundation going forward. What I want to share with you briefly today is a little more information on the seven mountains of cultural influence. This is huge. This is huge because as believers, the church, we own it all. And so let me give you a little more insight on the seven mountains of cultural influence. Now I'm going to share, just starting off here, a short video that uh, put together by Cunningham, Lauren Cunningham, and then uh, he'll give you a good overview of what we're talking about. And then we'll come back and we'll give you some more details on what each of the mountains are and a move afoot that you're in real time right now to reclaim those mountains. But let's start off with a short video. And I'm not going to be before you long here. And I just want to give you some information on the seven mountains that influence our culture. So let's start off with a short video by Lauren Cunningham, and uh, this is pretty cool here. And so let's take a look. It was August 1975, and the Lord had given me that day a list of things that I had never thought about before. He said, this is the way to reach America and nations for God. In every city of the world, an unseen battle rages for dominion over God's creation and the souls of people. This battle is fought on seven strategic fronts, looming like mountains over the culture to shape and influence its destiny. Over the years, the church slowly retreated from its place of influence on these mountains, leaving a void now filled with darkness. When we lose our influence, we lose the culture, and when we lose the culture, we fail to advance the kingdom of God. And now, a generation stands in desperate need. It's time to fight for them and take back these mountains of influence. The mountain of government, where evil is either restrained or endorsed. The mountain of education, where truths or lies about God and his creation are taught. The mountain of media, where information is interpreted through the lens of good or evil. The mountain of arts and entertainment, where values and virtue are celebrated or distorted. The mountain of religion, where people worship God in spirit and truth or settle for a religious ritual. The mountain of family, where either the blessing or a curse is passed on to successive generations. And the one mountain they all depend on, the mountain that fuels and funds all the other mountains, 
the mountain of business, where people build for the glory of God, for the glory of man, where resources are consecrated for the kingdom of God, or captured for the powers of darkness. Those who lead this mountain control what influences our culture. The last 50 years, we've seen the most rapid moral decline in history. The culture we inherited from our forefathers is disintegrating before our eyes. What kind of world are we leaving for our children and grandchildren? As long as the business mountain is held by enemies of the gospel, funding for the other mountains will always be constrained, and any efforts to advance the kingdom of God will be hindered. Imagine God's people reclaiming their cities in government, in the arts and entertainment, in the media, in education, in the family, in religious influence, but only limited by their imagination and not by a lack of finances. It's possible, but first, we must take back the mountain of business. God's move to take this mountain back has already begun. Thousands and thousands of business leaders in every major city across the nation are filling arenas to learn from business leaders and hear the gospel of Christ. 90% of people working in the marketplace believe in God. 78% believe spirituality and business mix. 70% say that because of their faith, they find meaning and purpose in life. There are over 56 million Bible-believing Christians working in the marketplace. A vast army of God waiting to be truly engaged in the battle. Yet this strategic army and battlefront has largely been left ignored by the church. More than 90% of church members do not feel they are being equipped or trained by the church to apply biblical faith in their day-to-day -day life. The Business Mountain is so strategic because that is the place of influence. When you look at culture, so much of culture is defined by what happens in business. If we would use the wealth of the world to bless the world, and bless it not only to distribute to the needy that which they need. When you bring economy and economic benefit to a nation or a culture, uh, then you have influence in that culture. People, as they're transformed, who will transform all the spheres of society. It is time to reclaim the seven mountains and bring the life of God back into our culture. So, isn't that awesome? This is a movement. And um, in this, it's a wake-up call. It's a wake-up call for our churches and our pastors and our bishops and all those in authority to realize that your congregation, within your congregation, you have business owners, you have marketplace ministers, whether they be business owners, whether they be entrepreneurs, salespeople, inventors, we need to recognize them understanding the seven mountains and the fact that wealth transfers from the business mountain to fund the other six. It's time for the church to come out of the mountain of church and realize that they have dominion and authority over all the mountains and to unleash and commission those business owners, unleash them, anoint them and, uh, and send them forth with favor. In fact, if you've got a church and you're meeting right now have a raise of hands, all the people that are in business, raise your hand. Okay, come forth, come forward. The congregation is going to pray over you so we can launch you with the spirit of Joshua and Caleb to go out there working with those pastors, working with the church to slay those giants and to bring back those luscious grapes so we can move the kingdom forward. We need money to fund the kingdom. So, what we're looking at here and what I'm sharing with you briefly is a wake up call to reclaim the seven mountains, you know, and we can do it. And so what I want to share with you just real quick here is um, a little more detail on the seven mountains. And I'm going to go to a website, Truth and Liberty. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Truth and Liberty uh, Coalition. And I was going to talk about the spheres of societal influence, the seven spheres, the seven mountains. 
And so let's go back and let's take a look at it. And uh, we're gonna go into just a little more detail on the mountains. And then I'm gonna take you to a vision that I have on reclaiming the mountains. And uh, we're gonna be going to the betterworldchangers.com website. But the seven mountains, okay. Just to give you a quick overview, and you can come back here, truthandliberty.net mountains. And by the way, there is a ton of information that is here that is gonna be very impactful to you for such a time as now. But the first mountain, religion and faith. We truly are under attack and the church is tasked with expanding our message through ministerial efforts in our nation and across the world. We are locked down in this mountain. Let's be released to take authority, okay? Then we've got the mountain of family. And see, all of these mountains are under, under attack. And with the pandemic, we've had some relief, you know, with the pandemic. And so now is the time to charge instead of retreat. We believe God wants to bring healing to our marriages and relationships, ending the chaos that we currently see out there. And again, you can come back here and you can get some more information. We've got education, the mountain of education, which has taken a hit, I believe in our favor. You know, many of the schools of course have gone back, but we've been able to homeschool and teach some of the biblical principles that we believe in to restore biblical truth and godly morality in a failing system, I believe. And then we've got government and law you know, we want to raise up Christian leaders to, to, to attack this mountain, to climb this mountain. And I believe we have our opportunity to do that. The pandemic has really given us an opportunity to charge, not retreat, not to, not to bunker in, but to charge. We've got media, news, and commentary. We want to raise up Christian leaders that can get involved and can truly make a difference. By the way, you're assigned to one of these mountains. You be, you're being trained right now to climb it. And, uh, and we talk more about it on the betterworldchangers.com begin here tab to identify the mountain that you are assigned to climb. We have arts, entertainment, sports, and of course sports took a hit, entertainment took a hit, and they're starting to come back. You know, they're still kind of laying down. We need to charge this mountain while they're just starting to come back. And this is really the key to everything. The key to everything is understanding that wealth transfers from the marketplace, not the workplace. Wealth transfers from the business mountain. And that's why I say we need to identify those business owners, those entrepreneurs, those salespeople. And we need to support them and to raise them up and to anoint them and to launch them so that we can transfer the wealth for end time ministry. I'm assigned to wealth transfer and end time ministry to help trigger what is to come. We need the wealth instead of funding everybody else that's going out there, the church needs to arise. Christian business leaders need to arise and understand their mission, understand their authority, understand the mountain that they're assigned to climb. And so I just wanted to give you that. So we're going to go very quickly to another site here. Now, this is the Better World Changers, betterworldchangers.com. This is the site that I created based on personal experience to teach not only the walk of a paymaster, someone that God has assigned to transfer wealth through. There's a walk. There's an assignment. You know, it's not a bed of roses. What you're going through, growing through, is very, very intentional. Can God trust you with wealth? You know, will you make it through knowing that money, currency, the currency of the believer is faith. It's not even money. So let's talk very quickly about reclaiming the seven mountains. And if you come to betterworldchangers.com, and uh, we forward it to yoursavingsfriend.com, but if you come to betterworldchangers.com, Dot com, you'll come here. And as you saw in the video, there's a battle that is raging over the dominion of God's creation and the souls of people 
we as believers, we have a responsibility not to lay down during the pandemic, but to pandemic, but to rise up. A generation stands in desperate need that we need to rise up and fight. Again, you can go to the Truth and Liberty website. You can also watch this video again. But in order to transform our cities, we need to take the high ground of these mountains. We need to understand that wealth transfers from the business mountain to fund the other six. Well, what do you mean by that, Rick? If someone's running for political office, what do they do? They call their buddy up from business, from the mountain of government, and say, hey, can you fund my campaign? If someone's producing a movie, they call their buddy up from arts, sports, and entertainment, mountain. Hey, can you fund my movie? We don't even understand that as believers, we're funding everything that's going on. We really have to start getting intentional. Now, here's a presentation you can download if you're not familiar uh, with your mountain and what mountain you're assigned to climb. Download that presentation called Climbing Your Mountain. And um, transforming our society, folks, that's what time it is right now. We need to get in position. We, in fact, we are already in position. We need to have the understanding that we are here to transform society, not to blend in. Wealth transfers from the marketplace. There is a move afoot and uh, you're actually part of it. Reclaiming the seven mountains. We want the high ground. Right now there's a little devil sitting at the top and he's rolling down stones and he's pouring down hot oil when he sees you trying to climb. You don't even know you're being attacked. You don't know you're being targeted. You're, you don't know you're being held in place, but now you do. And so it's time for the church to come out. Are you called to be a marketplace minister? We want you to decree, we want you to declare you know, and make that declaration, say, hey, I understand what's going on now. I understand that I'm part of a movement and I'm part of a movement to reclaim and take possession of the land the Lord God is giving you for your own, Joshua 1.11. On the mountain of business as wealth transfers, the mountain of government rise for the occasion. Family, religion, church, media, education, art, sports, entertainment. It's time that we reclaim these mountains. So I'm going to end up, this is just a short, just a short little presentation here. I'm going to end up with a look-see at a vision the Lord actually gave me of how to reclaim the mountain. So if you go to betterworldchangers.com. Up at the top, we've got Marketplace Ministry, describes Marketplace Ministry. We always want you to start at the Begin Here tab. Then we have the Divine Call tab. What is your calling? And you are a change agent for such a time as now. And there are a ton of resources under the Resource tab. You heard me mention Paymaster. You are a Paymaster. You have been chosen by the Lord to flow supernatural wealth through for him to bless and prosper your business, to transfer wealth for three things, personal freedom, community building, and global missions to spread the gospel around the world. Okay, but let's take a look at a vision the Lord actually gave me to reclaim the mountain. So I'm under the divine call tab. I'm going to scroll down to the vision. Okay, this is it right here. Wow. I'm going to go through it real quick and then we're going to wrap up. The whole idea is to point you to this website, betterworldchangers.com, and to share the vision of reclaiming the seven mountains. Let's make it a little bit larger. Okay. Betterworldchangers.com, reclaiming the seven mountains vision, taking possession of the land, folks. It's time for us to move, not lie down. And uh, one of the things that uh, we're assigned to do is to help you, to assist you, to come alongside you so that we can prosper your business, offering it up to the Lord like the loaves and say, Father, bless this business for the divine call, for the reason I'm here, so that you can be personally free to do what God has called you to do, so that we can go into our communities and make a difference, 
creating a pipeline of wealth that flows from your business directly into the community to meet real needs. And of course, global missions to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ around the world. But here is the dominion mandate in climbing the mountains. Climb, believer, climb. Take dominion of the high places. The kingdom of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. Now, as a marketplace minister, our vision, and you're part of this vision, should you choose, is to unite a spiritually focused team of marketplace ministers for one reason only, and that is to make the great commission the great completion for such a time as now. So here is what I wanted to really get to in talking about the mountains and what it means to your business. Here is the mind which has wisdom. Those mountains, the seven heads, the seven mountains, are the mountains on which the woman sits, Revelation 7, 19. The business mountain, also the Canaanites, the media mountain, the Hittites, art, sports, and entertainment, the Hivites, the family, Jebusites, the government, Gergesites, the education mountain, the Amorites, they all have characteristics of these ancient groups. The church, the parasites. Okay, so we've got the seven mountains. As you heard mentioned, Wealth transfers from the business mountain, your business right now. Father, multiply it to free you up to whatever mountain you're assigned to climb. Mine is government community. I'm in the travel business. We have something called the Vortex. Insert your business there. The Vortex raises money in the travel industry to free me up to go into our communities, personal freedom, community building, global missions. And uh, we're reclaiming the mountains, folks. This is why it's important for you to understand what mountain are you assigned to climb? Our mountains. It may be the mountain of education. It may be the mountain of family. It may be the mountain of sports. Whatever business you have, remember, wealth transfers from the business mountain. This is how world system money flows. The church is locked down relegated by choice to the mountain of church, not realizing they have authority over it all. And they have a dominion mandate to take dominion of the high place. It's time to climb, folks. It's absolutely time to climb. And so in my business, whatever your business is, have the Lord multiply it like the loaves to free you up to do what he's called you to do. Do you know what he's called you to do? Rick, I'm not sure. Okay, you need to go to the begin here tab. And it's going to walk you through your spiritual authority, your purpose, your why. It's going to walk you through your assigned mountain. And there's a presentation you can download called Climbing Your Mountain, which will show you the mountain you're being trained to climb based on the experiences you're growing through. And then it's going to show you how to identify the image of your marketplace success, which is your marketplace authority. Ladies and gentlemen, that lays the foundation. Now it puts your business in perspective. Lord, multiply this business. I put it in your hands, Father, to free me up to do what I'm called to do. And when you do that, watch out what happens. It's not your responsibility. It's God's responsibility based on the purpose and why you are here to prosper you, to beat those giants down for you with your hands, with your sword to empower you, to take authority, folks. And so let's wrap up. So you can actually download this, this, uh, this slide here, the vision. You can download that right there. Are you up for the challenge? See, folks, every crisis represents opportunity, and this is no different. You have an opportunity to rise. Knowledge is power but the empowerment is the application of that knowledge. And so here is a closing scripture. I will give you treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places that you may know that I, the Lord God, who called you by name, am the God of Israel. Ladies and gentlemen, that says it all. Isaiah 45, three. And so I just wanted to give you just some information on what time it is. 
And it's time for us to arise as believers, as Christian business owners, to understand if you've been struggling and going back and forth on your business, around and around that mountain again and again, understand you have the business and you have the ministry. And the ministry will give you the perseverance and it will give you that, that energy that you need to go through any challenge, to jump through any, jump over any troop, right? You know, to slay any giant. Why? Because you're in the power of the spirit. And you want to use the spirit. If you're just trying to build your business in the flesh, that's a long road to hold. But if you say, Father, I dedicate it to you. And along with the business truth, adding the marketplace ministry truth, especially with an understanding of the seven mountains, you cannot fail. You cannot fail. Why? Because our God, he is God and he never fails. Well, God bless you. Thank you for this time. Seven mountains, betterworldchangers.com. Go there and take a look. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to take the high place. God bless you.